Yeah, good morning this morning. We thank God for waking us up again this morning. It's a new morning. How was your night? Was it splendid? Did you see an angel? How was your night? Yeah, this morning I during my study, there's an aspect that I saw in the scriptures that actually scared me. Some group of us are called fools. After this same video, you are going to find out if you are actually a fool or not. Respectfully speaking, don't feel insulted. I didn't say it. You will check in the Bible yourself. We are called fools. I've checked my own life. I am not a fool. Mm. But you don't say yet until you think what I'm about to say. And uh, that was in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verses 4 to seven there about it talks about those that make vows and do not redeem their vows he said it's better you should not make any vow than to make vow and not redeem it he said those people are fools ha ah. god called them fools those that make vows make pledges and they don't redeem it in fact, it went further by saying that um, I must not come back and tell your pastor or your leader that you made that vow by mistake or it was an error, that the vow has been made already. Go and read that please very well. You can understand. You can use different versions to study. NIV, you know, KJV, NKJV, Amplified and all that. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 4 to 7. While I was studying, I was made to understand by revelation that um, I want to confirm my micro. Mm -hmm. By revelation that any time you make a vow, it is not only you that made the vow. That thing was written in kingdom, committed to happen. You see, when men pray to God and say, God, bring in epas to my life, there is this church project, ministry project, this project, that project, and you pray to God, and then the vision is being shared around. You know, we have many people who will say, okay, pledge. Then they share paper. They do it in our church. They share paper. If you want to pledge, if you want to give this, if you want to give that, give a vow and all that. Most of us out of, I don't know, maybe because our friend goes to write something, we don't even think, we just make, we, 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 we turn spiritual things to joke. You think the vow you are making is for your pastor. You think it's for your church. So the pastor, pa, ah, he voted. How much is your vow? Two thousand. Okay, I'll do four thousand. Let's see. How much? I'll do ten thousand. I'll do ten thousand. So they can know that you put something down, and then you take a paper, and you write ten thousand naira. Can I tell you, the ten thousand you wrote was also written in the court of heaven in your register that this person promised to do this to kingdom come. And everyone will be waiting for you to wait until you redeem your pledge. He now says, for those of you who refuse to redeem your pledge, you are called fools. They take all of your names and open the register called foolish register and put your name there. In other words, if you know that you are not ready to vow, you are not led to vow, nobody is forcing you. You can just leave it and pray. In fact, you can even say, God, um, what they are doing now, I wish to support, but I don't know what I can vow. But as you bless me, I will give it to the project. It's better than vowing. You don't, you, do, you don't, you don't, you don't promise God to do something. For, in fact, I'm not about money alone. You don't tell God. Let me tell you one secret. Do you know that if you propose in your heart that God, I want to be fasting every Thursday by 3 p.m. in the evening. Do you know that what happens is that when Thursday comes and it's that same time, angels on assignment also come. The host of heaven is like you say, I have an appointment with you uh, in the office, sir. You know, at that 3 p.m., everybody gathers. We are waiting. That's what happens. So I'm telling you now. So when you say, I, I want to be fasting 3 p.m. every day on Thursdays, you have booked an appointment with heaven already that you want to meet with them. By 3 p.m., angels are sent. Spirit of God is sent. Everybody is waiting for you to make sure that that's, that's your vow. And your promise is brought to life. Then 3 p.m. comes. Ah, 
I will, I will make it tomorrow. I can't, I can't do it again today. I will make it tomorrow. I, I can't fast again today. I will make it tomorrow. Then you, you, you don't fast. They have come to receive what you want to ask, your petition, but they didn't see you. They go back disappointed. There is nothing you say that you will not give account. There is nothing you write. No vow or promise go like that. So please, henceforth, when you want to vow, be sure that you are ready to redeem your vow so that you will not be a fool. Don't write in error. Be sure that you are going to redeem that vow. Don't just write and write it down or to show yourself, I vow this, I vow that. Many of you now, the reason why you are passing what you are passing through now is go and check your life. You have vowed in many assemblies. You have promised many ministries, many men of God. You have not fulfilled one. You are a vower, not a redeemer. A lot of vow, 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 vow everywhere. You feel a lot of forms. You didn't redeem anyone. It is still written in the court of heaven as a debt on your part. Let me help you. Ask God for forgiveness now to clear that one. God, I'm sorry for promising and not and failing. I'm sorry for vowing and failing. I'm sorry for my inconsistency in the place of prayer that I've promised to be. I'm sorry for all of this. I'm sorry. Lord, let your blood clear it. Let your blood forgive me. Then start a new peace with God. And know what you vow. And know what you promise. And know the commitment that you set. The special commitment that you set. So that you will not be a fool. Write in the comment section. Father, Forgive me for all the vows I've made and I've not redeemed. And give me the grace not to vow when I am not led. Thank you very much and God bless you.